Assalamu alaikum. How are you, my dear students? I hope you all are fine with your family at home. I'm also fine. Welcome to NIPS Home School. This is Kamrun Nahar, Assistant Teacher of National Idol English Version School, Day Shift. Today, I'm going to conduct an English language class for the student of class 1. So, all of you take your English language book. And our today's topic is this, that, these and those. We will discuss lesson 13 today. So all of you take your book and go to page number 40. And if you open your book, it will be easy for you to understand our today's topic. So let's start our class. So at first, we will Read these sentences. This is a bag. That is a bird. These are tops. Those are kites. Now look in the first picture. The bag is near the boy. So we use this. This is a bag. And in the next picture, uh, the bird is far away from them. That means the bird is not near them. So we use that is a bird. So we use this to indicate when something is near us and we use that when something is from, I mean when something is far away from us. That means which is not near us. Now look, these are tops. We use this when we indicate or say something I mean which is more uh, when something is more than one thing or I mean uh, we use these when we are talking about plural things and this is the plural of this now look there are two tops and these tops are near the boy so we use these are tops we use these when we are talking about more than one person, one animal, one bird, or one object, or one thing. And in the next picture, there are two kites, which is far away from the girl. So, we use those, those, here, now look, those is the plural of that. And the kites are far away from the girl. So those are kites. That means the kites are not near the girl. So we use those when we are talking about more than one person, one thing, one animal or one bird which are not near us. That means which are far away from us. So we use this to say that something is near. The plural of this is this. We use that to show that something is far away. The plural of that is those. So we know the use of these, that, these and those. So when we use this and that, we use this to indicate someone or something which is near to us. We use that to indicate some, I mean someone or something which is far away from us and we use this to indicate something plural I mean people animals or birds which are not I and mean, which are near to near us and we use those to plural objects which are far away from us now we will do exercise exercise number one Write this is or that is. Now look, we use this is and that is to indicate one object or something which is one or one person, animals or bird. So we use this is when the object or the thing or the person is near us and we use that is when the object or thing or person is far away 
from us. Now look, the first picture, dash a star. Now look at this picture, there is only one picture and which is not near the boy. That means the star is far away. So we will write here, what? I know, all of you know the answer. Yes, we will write here. That is. Now look at the second picture. The ball is near the girl. So, and number two is dash a ball. So what will you write there? We will write here, this is. Now, the next one, dash a tree. Now look at this picture, the tree is far away from the boy. So what will you write here? Yes, we will write here that is. And now the next picture dash a cat. That means the cat is near the boy. So what will you use when something is near us? We use this is. So we will write here this is. So, when something is singular, that means when we are talking about one person, one thing, one animal, one bird, we will use this is or that is. And we use this is when something is near us and we use that is when something is far away from us. So, our sentences is, our sentences are that is a star, this is a ball, that is a tree, this is a cat. Now exercise number 2. Right? These are or those are. Now look. We use are here. These are, those are. Because these indicates plural. That means something more than one. Those also indicate plural subject. That means something. I mean we when we talk about more than one thing or one person or one animal we use those. So our verb will be also plural that means we will use here are instead of is now look at the first picture number one dash flowers and the, the now look there are more than one flower and the flowers are near the girl the girl is holding the flowers so we will write here these are Now look number two. Look at this picture. There are two dogs. So what will you write there? And the dogs are far away from the boy. So what will be there? When something is far away, I mean when we indicate something which is far away, we use what that or those so and here are two dogs so we will use the plural form those are now next one number three dash robots and now look at these robots there are one two three robots and these robots are close i mean uh, closer to boy that means the uh, in uh, near the boy so we will right here these are because these the word these is the plural form of these and there are three robots now next picture dash ducks and now look the ducks are far away from the girl and there are more than one duck so there are two ducks so we will write here those are Now number 5, dash pencils. Now look, the girl holding the pencils and there are more than one pencil and the, these pencils are near the girl. So what will be there? Yes, I know you are smart. So these are, there will be, these are. 
and now look the last one number six dash toys and now look there are many toys more than one toys and these toys are near the person so what will you write there there will be also these are so our sentences are number one these are flowers number two those are dogs number three these are robots number four the those are ducks number five these are pencils number six these are toys so dear students we use this and, and that i mean when we are talking about or when we indicate one person one thing or one object or one animal or one bird and we use these and those when we indicate or say something about i mean uh, people animals birds that means when we are talking about more than one person one animal one bird one uh, object or one thing and we use these and these when we are talking about something which is near to i mean near us and we use that and those when we are i mean talking about something or person which are far away from us that, so that's all for today i hope you have understood our today's topic keep practicing at home study regularly and abide by your parents see you again allah peace